What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are headed on kind of the dirtiest cruise ship in 2023. We didn't book this on purpose. No, we didn't. <laughs> this was not on thing, but we found that out in one of our lives. We are headed on the MSC Seaside, which has failed a health inspection a couple months ago. Yeah, they got a 67 out of 100 by the CDC. <laughs> which is the lowest score that a cruise ship has ever gotten in the history of doing the, the health ex health inspection. Yeah. Health a little, inspections. A little nervous, but the ship looks really beautiful, so I'm hoping they've made some improvements. I hope so too because that's kind of kind of gross. What's up guys? Editor Fane here and I just want to come in and show you like some of the violations that we found on the internet. As you guys can see right here I am on the CDC like official gov website and you can see MSC Seaside right here by MSC. Inspection date was 427 this year and the score was 67. I'm not gonna go through all of these because as you can see there is a lot of violations that they had. I just want to come to you and read off some of the violations that they had just so you guys can get an idea of how they failed this. Supposedly there were flies spotted in some of the food handling areas on the cruise ship. Another one was self-service tongs that were handled by crew and guests were in the actual food at the buffet. And if you guys have seen our black lighting the cruise ship video, when we swabbed some of the tongs, there were some gross bacteria on them. So I can understand why that was disgusting. In the teppanyaki venue, there was some old spoiled food underneath the grill with some pooling water. And I think the biggest one was that a crew member handled some raw hamburger me and like didn't wash his hands and like opened the door to get more meat and was touching different things so like there was like bloody hamburger juice all over the place which is kind of disgusting so something kind of interesting just happened that we did not expect we are a little later to boarding our cruise now a little shook up too to be honest it's happened to me before so i was fine oh my gosh this camera makes you look gorgeous with those eyes laura's never experienced this but now we both have been this has happened what, what happened to us so we were up on the top deck and yeah. we were about to go and and um, we got surrounded. By the police. <laughs> By the police. Yeah, and they literally surrounded the car and came right up to us and told us that we were doing something illegal. So what had happened was, I was flying my drone, getting shots and stuff like that, but apparently in July 1st of 2023, that it's illegal now to fly your drone in a port. Like cruise port, any port like that, that cruise ships leave from. Even if you are a licensed drone pilot. Yes, which your boy is. And they gave us this paperwork that lists all the ports and rules. Do you want to like open it up? It's like a, it's like a a Santa's naughty and nice list. I thought it was a ticket. <laughs> yeah, I thought it looked like a ticket, but there's all the rules and regulations of Port Canaveral and what you can do around drones. Evidently, the port has been encouraging sheriffs to make arrests regarding this, yeah. and they've just been nice about it. So thankfully, we didn't get arrested on cruise day, but. That would have been a story to tell. So if you guys have drones and you like to fly drones before you get on the ship to get shots of the ship, if you don't have your part 107, I would see if you can like register and get a permit to fly. It's really easy. You just gotta sign up and you get approved, you don't get approved. I mean, no matter what, you have to get a permit to prove. If not, you can try to risk it, but at the same time, you might get an actual ticket or get arrested because it's like a government issue. I I think we were really lucky. And I think so too. Because we were nice, I think that helps too. We weren't like, just like, what are you talking about? I can do whatever. Yeah, I wasn't like that. I was just like, oh, okay, I understand. But this is the second time this has happened to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is not his first merry-go-round, but I do want to let you guys know as well, this is for the whole state of Florida. Yes, whole not, state of Florida, any not port. Not just Port Canaveral. Yeah, so. Miami, Jacksonville, Tampa. Drone flyers, watch out. Honestly, just don't be stupid. Like, like I don't know if anyone watches this, but it's Philip DeFranco. It's like, just don't be stupid, stupid. Like, fly your drone, don't be reckless and don't ruin it for everybody. So now it's time to get on the ship and actually have some fun, have a drink. Yeah, and we're about, oh, let me check my invisible watch. Um, we're about 30 minutes late, even more maybe, like 40 minutes late to getting on our ship. We've so. been here for almost like a little over an hour, I feel like. We gotta go. Do you know what one of the benefits is about being late? What? That our rooms will probably be ready when we get on the cruise ship now. So we can go right to our rooms. That is true. And it's pretty quiet around here. Real quick, I just want to show off Laura's outfit that you guys helped oh, pick. Thank you. You want to spin? You know, you know the deal. Okay, hold on. I gotta take my suitcase with me. There we go. It looks so nice. It's from Show Me Your Moo Moo. Yes. If you guys weren't on the live and didn't know that, you're very vibrant today. Thank you. I feel good. Your boy has Kenny flowers on. Very airy. It's because it's so hot. Those colors are really good on you. Thank you. Too bad we don't match. Next time I'll have to get that outfit for you. I don't think they have the matching men's outfit. One of the benefits to coming late is that there's no lines anywhere. I'm not mad about this. That's another cruise secret right there. This is really different than last time. 
Like, there's nobody here. There's air conditioning. Hopefully it goes by faster. Yeah, not as long as the line as it was last time. One hour later. We are having a very interesting day so far. We just went through security and Fane had to leave because they found the drone in his bag and evidently drones are no longer allowed on MSC. We brought it on the ship last time. So I don't know what's going on today with this drone, but it is cursed. I came to sit down and wait for him. I have our luggage and everything. As soon as I came to sit down, another man came over and said he needed to search Fane's bag again because it looked like there was a knife and a sheath in it. I understand everything. Everyone's doing their due diligence, of course, it's no one's fault, but I need a big fat drink right now because my nerves are a little shot. <laughs> Interesting day so far. Five minutes later. Lay out to get me today. How are you gonna see how are you gonna check my bag, look in it, and then for the drone, and then come back to you said, Do you have a knife in your bag? Bro, you open my bag. Are we ever gonna get on the ship? I don't <laughs> like, know. like what's next? You no, know, the funny thing is, when I was walking out of the port, I looked to my left and the police officer that was like over like pulled us over the first time was out there, and I was just like, I hope you doesn't think I'm just trying to sneak back and try to fly oh, my drone Oh my again. god, he probably was watching you. Probably. I'm surprised you didn't like follow me or whip around or something like that. But I, I was just he like... he was laughing like, haha, you had to put your drone away. <laughs> After all this time, we're finally checked in and ready to go on the ship. But a cool thing is, we're gold members now. All because we transferred our status from Royal. I do like this card, I, I will say. It's very pretty. Unfortunately, it doesn't really get us any benefits though. No, I think I saw something about a free gift, but I don't know what that means. Here's a pen. Yeah, here's your pen. But I do want to say they do the check-in um, the same way they did last time. So that hasn't changed where they give you your key oh, when yeah, you yeah, check yeah. in as yeah. opposed to getting it at your state door. Yeah, so no more ripping up envelope, ripping open envelopes. Yeah, but not as long as the line is last time. This was pretty smooth compared to when Miami, we went on Miami, for real. Yeah. Boom, we are officially on an MSC cruise. We're on board now and I found some differences in the last time. What's that? We weren't like bombarded by a whole bunch of people trying to sell us stuff. We just walked right on. Very different entrance, more like low key this time. Yeah, so one up for me. I'm excited about that. Might be a better cruise. Should we go find our stateroom or do our muster? Let's go, let's go find our stateroom and then do our muster. This is really interesting. I've never seen an elevator like this where you just select which elevator. That's new. I think we're gonna go to 10. 10, car, eight, oh. five. And it tells Whoa. you the elevator. That's futuristic. I can't see. Hopefully it works. Oh, I thought it was here. <laughs> and then when you get in the elevator, there's no buttons. So you just like sit there. So you can't just get on anyone's elevator. It's a little freaky, but I think it's nice. It's going to see. Yeah. Here we go. 10019. A little dark in here. Just very purple. <laughs> But it's not bad though, it's like a nice size. It's very similar to the last one, I think. I don't even remember what that looked like. From what I can remember. But yeah, it's not bad. Should we do a room tour? I don't know, I kinda need a drink first. Well, hello there, and welcome to my MSC ca MS yeah, MSC Casa. You wanna come in? <laughs> he looks a I little worse. All right, so I'm gonna show you around this room. It's pretty much like a basic. Um, balcony room. First off, Laura's favorite. They have a kind of a digital thermostat. The bar, you can just see the bar. It doesn't go any lower than that, but. We yeah. always said it's the lowest. And then we have card only activation for the lights and the air conditioning. We tried another card, didn't work. It's only these MSC, NFC cards. Yeah, they're tricky. Decent sized bathroom, a lot bigger than. Virgin. We have a full size shower that you can stand in. I can't hit the ceiling. Shower head, um, bar, I guess, for you guys to shave your legs. Oh, nice. And then we have the sink over here, bathroom. So traditional cruise bathroom. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Then we come back here, you have a full size mirror. Over here, there's a queen size bed. There's some shelving. There's a closet right there. Um, safe, more shelving drawers. On each side, there's a nightstand that has more cubby space and more storage. Then over here, you have a desk. You can order from the food menu, scan the QR code, some ice. There's a mini bar, I believe, in here. Yeah. Ooh, it stopped. But there's prices somewhere that I saw. So all this isn't free, even if you have the drink package. And then we have this TV couch. It's all very maroon. Out here, we're a little late. So this is like in the future. And then out here is the balcony. Um, you might not be able to see, it is pitch black out here. It might be a little noisy in the footage. But you have two chairs, a footrest, a high wall. You can't really see over the wall. It's like not glass, obviously. But if you come out this way, it's kind of re kind of reminds me of the Mardi Gras in a way, where it's like a deck, but you also have like a deck 
below like that people can walk on and stuff so it's getting a little foggy the humidity all the human titties are out here oh boy and then there's a big propeller right there which is kind of weird like a whole ship propeller just chilling max and relaxing all cool and yeah so it's pretty much a basic balcony cabin so we tried to do our muster station but i don't think they have like scheduled times for it i think we might have been a little bit too early yeah i think it's where you go and it's like a group presentation yeah. instead of just like going and getting your individual card scanned but one thing about msc cruises is that they are so nice like the decor on here like it's I wish other cruise ships would be like look this nice. This is probably one of the more beautiful casinos I've seen on a cruise ship. I agree. This bar I'm obsessed with. Yeah, so like the walkway comes this way and then there's this round bar. It's like a good, I feel like it might be good flow other than like right here where there's stairs and then the bar. It looks really nice. It's really spacious and it looks like it wouldn't get like, you know, too crowded. Yeah. Like there's room to spread out, which I really enjoy. And then here's the grand atrium where they have a bar down there, some silver stuff. They have the diamond stairs over there. This is clean. Beautiful, actually. I actually like this. I do too. It's like nice and clean, and then they have this white champagne bar over here. So far, this is much prettier than the Maravilla. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, it's a lot lighter too. Little heads up about the mustard grill at MSC. Totally forgot. You can't just like go to your assigned assembly station. You have to go to your room, watch the show, and then they'll let you know we can come out of your room and come down to where we were just sitting there for like 15 minutes. I forgot about that. <laughs> I did not remember that at all. So it's a little backwards, but hey, I mean, if it works for them, it works for them. But I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I mean, you missed the buffet, close at four. So we're back in the room. We just did our master drill. We watched it on TV, just turned the TV off. And the funny thing is like now, you have to pick up the phone and dial 881, and then you can listen to this. Your request has been recorded. And that's pretty much what you hear. You can hang up now. So that's what you have to do. Now we have to go down to the muster station and check in. Seems like a bit much to me. A little bit. Why can't we just like watch the video on our phone like Royal? and check in that way, but to each its own, I guess, right? I don't see why they don't just scan your card in there. Are they gonna scan our card too? Yeah. Why do we have to call? I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Did we just have to like walk just through the theater and walk out? That was kind of weird. I'm confused. <laughs> yep, I was right. All we had to do was literally walk through the theater. What was that? There was no like demonstration, no nothing. It was just like, I guess it's like flow of traffic. That was bizarre. I've never seen anything like that. If you didn't know, you can't like preload or load your card on your M um, MSC account before you go on a cruise. You have to come to these stations and add a balance to your card to activate it, which is also different. Good different or bad different? We are calling all our guests. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just like another step that doesn't need to happen. Laura, I think you might have messed up. I think we did. Like there's no restaurants available. I mean, I guess let's just go drink. I don't even think the bars are open till five. There's people sitting at the bar over there. I think they're just sitting there, but we can go try. Yeah. Okay. Let's go try. Little heads up for anyone that didn't know. Make sure when you get on MSC, you go eat first. Mustard drill, don't have to worry about it. Just go eat first because you'll be five, happy. there's nothing open to eat. Key, next time, eat, eat first. first. What is up, guys? Editor Fane here. I noticed with all the excitement we forgot to say, if you're new here and you're hopefully enjoying the content, or if you want to see what else we get into, go ahead and hit that like button down below and also subscribe. Go ahead and start your seven day trial. It's free. You know what? You can always unsubscribe later. Hassle free. But if you're feeling a little bit more frisky, go ahead and click that join button down below and join our YouTube memberships or the Patreon link in the description down below for a few added perks. It really does help support your channel so we can keep bringing you content like this. But in all serious, thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Now back to the video. So we had another change of plans. We couldn't get a drink at the bar. So we came to the buffet to get some food because it finally opened after the mustard grill. I got all everything carbs, so it's like mac and cheese, focaccia bread. I've been thinking about this focaccia bread since we were on here last time because it's so good. And then a hamburger. And what did you get, Laura? It's in my stomach. I was starving and I ate it all. When it comes to like fries, does anyone else mix their ketchup and mayonnaise together to make like some type of dip? This is my buffet haul. Honestly, it looks like I made this specifically for a two-year-old. I got the mac and cheese, fries, my cruise special, plain hot dog, and plain cheese pizza. You know what they call that? What? Girl dinner. Um, <laughs> right here. Girl dinner. I don't know what's wrong with your taste buds, but this pizza Let me try it. is still bussing. It's definitely better. 
Yeah, it's better than Sorrento's. It's one of the top. Compared to like that Sorrento's. That change fast. Yeah, compared to Sorrento's or like Carnival or something like that. The crust on this is just so fluffy and melts in your mouth. I retract my opinion. MSC Pizza is pretty good. Look at these crystal stairs. Those are actual crystals. Swarsky. Swarsky? Swarsky. Swarsky. The Swarsky stairs. But look at that. They're so, so beautiful. Everything on this ship is so elegant. Like you can really feel special being on this ship. I feel elegant just like being on these stairs. Do you know what you want yet? I think you know. Press a martini? Yeah. Or do you want a shot of tequila? See? I don't know what you want. <laughs> Let's start with the espresso martini. I still can't get over this. Look at that. The floor is beautiful. This looks like a classic cruise ship right here, which is what I love. It's very nostalgic. It's like, it's just classic and beautiful. All right, the time has come to carry on our tradition. I've been waiting for this moment. Ooh. Hi, I'm Laura. <laughs> this is my first drink of the day. Hi, my name is Fane, and this is my first drink of the day. <laughs> day. <laughs> Ooh, that is espresso. It's what? Espresso. You said espresso. Oh, shut up. <laughs> not supposed to call me out on stuff like that. You're my girlfriend. You're supposed to love and care for me and, and look out for me. Not girlfriends are always supposed to call you out on shit like that. Drink number two, Aperol Spritz. I'm getting fancy. And mine is called the Hugo. It has elderflower in it, um, some other stuff, but you know. Ooh, kind of tastes like sparkling apple juice. Ooh, do you want to trade? No. Embarkation photos? You didn't get a chance to do embarkation photos. I guess we got here too late. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't even have it as an option to get your photo taken. Your name is Laura, and this is your second drink of the day. You have me looking like I'm double, double fisting. fisting. Yeah. My name is Laura, and this is my second drink of the day. This is pretty good. No, it's not. <laughs> I tried it. It's like a tart. It's like a tart. No, we have different tastes. Can we please, 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 take a photo like this? Okay. Oh, no, I'm just I'm kidding. Down. I was kidding. I, I, I was kidding. I know you don't want to. I was just but kidding. I'm down. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. So this is this is a sail away party. It's really, really loud over here, and the pool isn't the biggest. But I mean, have fun, right? There goes the pilot boat right there. We're officially on a cruise. Celebration. The bridge of size. What is this over here? Oh, look at this. It's a glass bridge. Oh my God. Come on, jump, jump, jump. No, that's trippy. I agree. Whoa. And you can feel it kind of moving because the, the ship's moving. Gives me chills. Yeah. This is so trippy. You can literally see everyone. This is like what Virgin did, but not as intense. This would be a really good place for a trap door. For a trap door? Yeah. For death? Yeah. But the best part though, we got the wake going now. I love the ocean. All right, this seems a little bit more chill. We were up there, but now we came down here. It is peace and quiet down here. You can't even hear the music. So this might be the sail away secret if you don't want to listen to the loud music. And you're like right next to the water. So that's not bad. Lovely. And you can come out here and eat. Do you want to show them what scares you the most? With the walkway? Yeah. Yeah. So there's another infinity bridge right here where you can like see through as you're walking. You can just like look down. It's not quite as tall. I don't, is, do you think this is supposed to be like this? I don't think so, but it's supposed, it's built so it's, it's like, it's still safe. I don't want to walk on it again. So one look. of the panes of glass is super cracked. Like it like broke or something like that. It's solid. Cool, now let's go. <laughs> you're not jumping on the broken glass. Watch this, ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> imagine imagine yeah this is a little bit more chill and i'm more up my alley and plus the wake is closer to me if only they had a bar back here they might have one underneath us you want to go get a drink is that even a question oh sorry that was a rookie mistake Always. right there well i think we found like a gelato bar Ooh. and they have craps I love me some craps. I love a good crap. I feel like we found a secret bar. This is pretty cool. I like the vibe of this. Yeah, it's like neon. They have a DJ over there. You know what this is giving me? What? Travel Spree Season 1 logo. Yeah, the little 80s theme. 
Miami theme, yeah. I kind of been missing that logo to be honest. Okay, I need some friends. And let me let me reiterate that. Does anyone play this game right here? It's Monopoly Go. I've been addicted to it. And I need Is this an ad? Yes. No, it's not an ad. If you see here, I need friends. Like right there, I need friends. So like if anyone plays this game, can you please want to like join my thing so I can get some more points and, and dice. If you don't play it, don't worry about it. It's just, right. I mean, Laura doesn't play it. Now that you're doing this, I can see that we have a problem and that you've become addicted and, and we need to delete it off our phone. I've only spent $700 so far. We need to delete it off our phone. It's only $700 on imaginary right. money. You get 1,000 and then you're done. Cool, 1,000 a month, got it. No, I haven't spent that much, but. Spent that much? Yeah. <laughs> you have spent something on yeah, because sometimes I just want to like go. Dang. Like 20 bucks. Are you sure you want to go on a cruise with us, on a group cruise? Because this is what life is like. Drinks water, feet up in the chair. This is our group cruise lifestyle right here. I think Laura is teaching me the sex in the city ways <laughs> because she has like, has me getting Cosmos, espresso martinis, Avril spritzes. Welcome to the world of a, a girl who's just turned 21. I even had a tequila sunrise today. <laughs> Cosmos though, I forgot how good they are because I haven't had one in forever. Yeah. But this is really what I used to order when I was like 21, 22. No vodka sodas over here. We're drinking Cosmos. They're actually really good. I forgot how good they, they are. They are good. And this is included in our drink package. If you guys are curious, the drink package that we got is the cheapest one they have. I think it's like the easy or something like that. They don't cover a lot of things but they do cover these. And they have your classics like Cosmo, Screwdriver, Mimosas. Long Island, um, Long Blue Island. Hawaiians. Your classic like martinis, so. Mostly all the beers that are on draft. They can get the job done, yeah. but if you want the really fancy like particular bar drinks, you will have to pay a extra charge. So we got dinner in about 10 minutes, but as is tradition, we're hitting up the lemon drops. But we have met a friend. Do you want to shout out your channel? Seymour C. Cruises, I'm Doug. Nice to meet you, Doug, and thank you for taking a lemon drop shot with us. We've had a lot of Here fun with Doug tonight, so. Cheers. Cheers. As, a, as a tradition. Like a champ. L's and T's, baby. L's <laughs> and T's. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys ever see us on the cruise, come take shots with us, but don't overload us with shots because we don't want to be blackout by dinner. <laughs> we had a fun time, but now it's time to get some dinner. We are a little late, so hopefully we can get in. We are going to Empimia? Ipanema. The doors are closed, so hopefully we can get in. So they told us they close at 9.55 and they only give a 10 minute window to make dinner. I will be fair, we were like, we're 20 minutes late. Yeah, uh, we are That's late. That's a bit much. <laughs> we shouldn't have been this late. No, we got scolded a little bit. Yeah. She sat us down, she was like, tomorrow be here at 9.45 yeah. sharp. But that's fair, like that's completely our fault. All right, we just scanned the food menu. But Laura thinks she knows what I'm gonna get. So let's let's see how well I think I know you. Yeah, let's see how well you know me after living with me for five years. Four years. Three years? I lived you five years. Three years, three after years. After being together for five years. Yeah. For starters, I think you're either gonna get the seafood ceviche or the chicken croquettes, maybe both. All right. Okay, yeah, keep going. Entrees, you're gonna get the lasagna bolognese. Dessert, coconut, pistachio, duck oh way. Okay, I guess you do know me. So this is the menu. You can pause the screen if you want. But Laura literally guessed everything that I wanted on this menu. Okay, that's, that's kind of scary. Can you guess what I want? I think you want the cr chicken croquettes. Okay. I'm kind of leaning towards a Texas style pulled pork, okay, but not- only because you heard me say I like that. And then you want either the cheesecake or the apple crumble. It's funny because I was kind of thinking about grandma's chocolate cake. I thought about that, but I was like, no, she doesn't want to eat, she doesn't eat chocolate like that. What You're close. Mean? Wow, I guess I don't know you. Starting off with the chicken croquettes. We both got them. I think we're just being twins today, right? They smell good. And then I got also got the lasagna, bolognese. What did you get? I think it's a special for the night. Uh, Texas barbecue with mac and cheese. Oh, the full pork. Yeah. Yeah, dinner wasn't bad. I think mine was better than yours. Definitely. Lasagna was not it. The yeah. barbecue and mac and cheese. It was it was honestly so good. I don't know, like MSC has definitely come a long way since we last got on it two years ago. So far I'm liking this a lot more than the Marabilia. Same, it's been a better experience. And then like as you guys can see the bar is empty and also this cruise, like 
cleanliness and all that, I haven't found one dirty thing ever. I think they improved a lot since they got that terrible rating. Unless we're not seeing stuff behind the scenes, yeah. I don't think it would score a 67 out of 100. No, I think this would be like a 90, 95. Also, I haven't changed my clothes today because I have not gotten my suitcase and it is 12 a.m. This has never happened to us before and I'm not really quite sure what to do. Oh look, we found the bowling alley and it is also AMF, so it's official, official bowling alley. I'm thinking we have like a competition. You trying to get wrecked? I'm trying to wreck you. I was a prodigy back when I was younger. No, you weren't. I got trophies to prove it. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the F1 simulator over there. This is giving me virgin vibes over here. We got the neon party going, everyone's dancing, drinking. It's like virgin, but it's not as like crowded. No, not at all. Like it's pretty empty over here if you're not by the bar. But it still seems pretty cool. Cheers. Hi, I'm Laura and this is probably my last drink of the night. You wanna know something crazy, Laura? What? I know it's a little morbid, but this railing right here. It's literally the decision between us being safe on this cruise ship and straight up death. Like if we were to fall over, that's death. This solo railing right here is like between us and dying. Those intrusive thoughts hitting hard after a few drinks, huh? These blue moons just hit hard, don't they? It's like when Barbie acts. Do you ever think about death? Do you guys ever think about dying? That's exactly what the vibe is right now. I think we're gonna call it a night. I need to go find my luggage because I can't wear this tomorrow. Oh yeah, we have no toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> no toothbrush, no nothing. I still can't get over how this looks. The ship wasn't as bad as they made it seem, or at least they got their act together. Yeah. And it's not disgusting like it was before. There is gross stuff. It seems like it might be behind the scenes. And hopefully not, because I don't want to get food poisoning. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out this video right here of us boarding one of the most premium cruise lines in America. And hit that thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video. All right, guys. We'll see you later. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Of course, we can't end our night without Laura getting some pizza. <laughs> Oops. Bye, guys.